I've done a lot of videos on shoes made in the USA over the years, and today I wanna revisit a lot of that research, organize it, and give you lots more American-made footwear brands to check out because it's been a while since I've visited some of those categories. I'm breaking it down category by category, so make sure to stick around to the end of the video for recommendations on every single part of your shoe rack. And of course, be sure to check out all of our written research on allamerican.org, which includes a ton of articles on pretty much every single type of footwear. We actually just released a huge data study on the state of American footwear manufacturing as well. That study includes a ton of really juicy manufacturing data in terms of manufacturing trends, sentiment analysis of the general American public, and some great first-hand insights from American footwear manufacturers on their triumphs, struggles, as well as how tough it is to find domestic sources for some of the raw materials that go into their footwear, and a whole lot more. All right, let's dive into these great American-made shoes, starting with sneakers. I'll put a link to our previous sneakers video in the description below, but a few of the great American-made brands that we've already covered in this category are OP Way, Some Footwear, Soft Star Shoes, Pseudo Sneakers, Hersey Custom Shoes Company, which is actually now Victory Sportswear, SAS, San Antonio Shoes, and Queen City Footwear. A couple more sneaker brands to check out. First is Carson Footwear. These folks are based out of Oregon and make some awesome trail running shoes. They're zero drop, meaning it doesn't have an elevated heel on the shoe, which should be healthier for your foot. And they're also very lightweight and flexible and really grippy. And another sneaker brand to check out is Pingree Detroit. Much like the name suggests, these folks are based out of Detroit, Michigan, and make some awesome shoes and other leather goods from recycled leather from the automotive industry in their local area. They're worker owned and have some really stylish sneakers to check out. So if you're interested in more of a high-end stylish sneaker, check out Pingree Detroit. All right, let's move on to work and hiking boots. I've covered a bunch of brands in this category on the channel previously, and those brands are Truman Boot Company, Danner, Schnees Boots, Red Wing Heritage Boots, specifically the Heritage Series. Not all Red Wing boots are made in the USA, but just that Heritage line is. And then we also have Belleville Boots, which we've covered previously, McRae Footwear, NYX Handmade Boots, and Carolina Boots. Carolina Boots specifically only has a few models that are made here, so just watch out for that if you're searching for some of their boots. And then a couple more boot brands to check out. First is Go Key. These folks are based in Tipton, Missouri and make some great hunting boots. They're made from super high quality leather and are definitely going to last you a lifetime. And then for the ladies, if you need some waterproof rain boots while you're working outside, check out Sloggers. They're based in California. They use some imported materials in their boots, but everything's assembled in the US and they have some great options for super tall rain boots as well as clogs. All right, let's move on to cowboy boots. Three brands we've already mentioned on the channel. First is Abilene Boots, second is Anderson Bean, and then we've also mentioned Beck Boots on the channel. And then a few more brands to check out. First is Caboots. They're based in El Paso, Texas, and have been a family-operated business since 1928. They have durable, handmade cowboy boots with a ton of customization options, so definitely check them out if you're looking to pick up a really nice pair. JB Hill Boot Company is another good Texas-based cowboy boots manufacturer. Similar to Caboots, they're doing a lot of custom work and everything is handmade. JL Mercer Boot Company is another good one based out of Texas in San Angelo specifically, where they've been making boots there since the 1920s. They've created boots for some really famous people and certainly it's not the most affordable price point, but if you're looking for a pair of boots to definitely stand out, JB Hill is a great company to go with. And then lastly in cowboy boots, Cat Mendenhall Boots is another good option. Based in Dallas, Texas, and they make vegan handmade cowboy boots for both men and women. All right, let's move on to some more casual and formal kind of everyday shoes. First up is Rancord & Co. These folks are based in Lewiston, Maine and make men's casual and formal shoes. They have some nice casual sneakers, which I really love and I actually have a pair of, which I featured in my All American Closet series. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it in the, in the description below as well. A couple of more formal boot makers to call out. First is Oak Street Boot Makers, based out of Chicago, Illinois. They make a ton of great formal boots. I have a pair of their field boots that are my go-to for a lot of dressier events. And then Helm Boots is another good one as well. They make a lot of similar boot styles to Oak Street. So if you're looking for kind of that chukka or more formal field boot, those are some great options. Next up is Quoty. 
These guys are also based in Maine and make some great kind of everyday shoes for both men and women. If you really like Sperry's, these are a great American made alternative. And then a couple more options for the ladies, Sven Clogs and Salpy Shoes are two great brands to check out for just their everyday footwear. All right, moving right along, we're gonna wrap out this video with sandals. A few brands that we've already mentioned on the channel, first is Okabashi, we've also mentioned Island Slipper, Earth Runner Sandals, Gurkies, The Piper Sandal Company, Shama Sandals, and our recent spotlight on New Soul. That pretty extensively covers the sandals category in terms of made in the USA brands, but one more that I wanted to call out in this video is Walting Matilda. These guys are based in Brewer, Maine, and make some great leather sandals from Horween Leather for both men and women. So if you're looking for a nice pair of leather sandals, Waltzing Matilda is a great option. Alrighty y'all, lots of new options to check out. Leave a comment below with your favorites or any questions. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.